morning, Sunday 26th of August. We are here on the Yard Cup. So uh, we've got to be spending the whole day here just uh, resting, taking it in. What uh, there is to do here, not too sure it's too sure yet, but uh, yeah. we'll ask some people, see what we can do here, maybe horse riding or fishing or something. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we had a great night yesterday. Dinner in the restaurant uh, behind me where Meta and Jamie are waiting. That was nice. You didn't have to do anything, just sit there. They brought all the food to us. And uh, now it's breakfast time, so uh, we'll go and see what we get for breakfast here. But uh, yeah, today we'll try to make a video of life on a yurt camp. It's not a real yurt camp, it's a kind of tourist yurt camp. But never mind, it looks fun. So um, we'll uh, spend the day here and uh, show you what it's like. The thing you need on a yurt camp is Warm clothes. Yeah. It's a surprise how cold it got all of a sudden because we've been 3,000 meters before, but that hasn't been cold, and all of a sudden it's really cold. Mm. Not too cold in the night. They had a, a little log fire in our yurt, so while we were having dinner in there, there was a guy going around lighting the fires in all the yurts, and then he came back and put some coal on later, so it uh, kept us warm. So. Very good. So now it's morning. The sun's just coming up over there. And, uh, there's the lake down there. You can see there's some uh, water points where you can uh, have a wash, clean your teeth, this kind of thing. There's no shower or anything like that. So this was the Yurt Camp here. It's a really good place to to come. Lots of explorers come here, adventurers on bikes and motorbikes and trucks and minibuses and. Basically, different yurt tents here with two beds and three and four. I just got four. And then uh, where Meda is there, there's a restaurant kind of tent where we've been eating. Next up, there's the kitchen. And then uh, on the other side, there's another restaurant. And then there's another yeah series of tents there. That's the way it works. Uh, over here, you can see there's a place you can have a a wash, no showers here. Um, place there, there's a, a well where you can pump water up to drink. And uh, yeah, what else is there here? I can just show you on the other side what's here. You can see how a yurt camp works. On the other side here, there's the toilets there. Basically a hole in the ground with a toilet seat. That's the way it is here. Yeah. And also water there to wash your hands. So anyway, it's breakfast time in the yurt. You can see now they've opened the, the uh, roof window there. Which uh, lets the light in. You can see this is the where they got the shape of the national flag from. This is a symbol that's in the middle of the flag. So, and what we got for breakfast today? Porridge. <coughs> with some jam in, <laughs> mm, and some onions with donuts. It's yeah, donuts. I think they're like mini donuts, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and tea over there and coffee. Perfect. So we've just been uh, taking it easy. Nice long breakfast. Talking to some other people. A lot of German people here. And, uh, yeah, but there's a range. So horseback riding for a few hours. So that'll be good. Oh, horse riding. Yeah, and we need to have some clothes on. Actually, now. Yes, so now we are ready and we need, we have learned, we need to have this, our, what do you say, gloves, gloves, gloves yeah. on, because when we horse riding, we need to use them, because so it will hurt our hands yeah. very much when it's a boom, boom, boom. So, uh, let's try that, then this afternoon we can, um, I'll show you a little bit around here, what it's like on the campsite, the yurt camp. But now we're going to go horse riding. So, the three horses. Ready for us here? Yeah. Have a go at this. See where we're going, maybe up there on the hills. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, they actually said we could go for a walk on our own, or horse ride on our own without a guide, but we couldn't get the horses to move very far, so now we've given up going back and see if we can get a guide, because we're just hopeless at this horse riding. 
He only got about 100 meters and they just stopped and we couldn't get them to move. <laughs> Here we are, guide. See if that helps <laughs> so we move a little bit faster than before. We didn't make too much progress. These horses, I don't think they want to go anywhere. Let's see if they can follow this guy here. Making some progress, even though it's a bit slow. Well, I won't stop there. Okay, we're actually making some progress now. There's the uh, camp where we're camping there. That's some cool. Right. My horse has stopped again. Let's go. Oh yes, it's very moving. What a view. Rest. There's our camp down there. Just about see. I just finished the horse riding. I'll just show you a little bit like what it's like inside a yurt. It's a kind of a wooden frame all the way around and these also wooden beams there go to a circular hole in the roof and there you can see the cross which is on the flag of the Kyrgyzstan flag. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it's very beautiful decorated because there are very beautiful minster when you see the yeah, patterns on the carpet. Patterns yeah. on the carpet. Yeah. And yeah, it's very good and be here in and it's good. And also in the yurt they have a little a little fire mm -hmm. place. You just open it here and just open here and in here you can fire and uh, in here you just take uh, some things in. Mm -hmm. this is and there's even a, a lamp. Yeah. There's a generator that works from 6 o'clock until 10 o'clock every evening but no power in the daytime. Yeah, and four small beds. Very primitive but very cozy. Now we're going down to Lake Sonkul and fishing. Let's see how we catch some fishes. A long time we've had a place for fishing. But here yeah, we can do it here. Let's go and have a look. Today on the yard camp here. So now all the fires are being lit in all the tents. And it smells of smoke everywhere. Every tent has got uh, fire burning. And I met her and Jamie are packed away here. Three duvets over them plus a sleeping bag. I think you're going to be warm enough. Yes. <laughs> and the fire is going again. The end to the day in the yard camp. So that was the end of the day here in the yard camp. All the uh, fires have been lit. Every tent here has a little log burner. So they've all been lit now. And uh, first they light them with wood, and after that they come and put coal on. We don't have to do anything. Some uh, body comes and does it for us. But no. All the yurts are full of uh, coal, you can smell burning coal, <laughs> smoke from the coal fires everywhere now. So, yeah, but the um, sunsets here, they're amazing. The evening sky, the light in the evening is also amazing. But, uh, we've just been in the restaurant, so we only had a short glimpse of it. But, uh, yeah, I know it's uh, bedtime here, it's 20 past 8, so it's already dark. And, uh, Stars will be coming out even though I can't film them. So that was a day here on the yurt camp. Yeah.